Hey Heartlanders, this is a question that's been on the mind of a lot of fans recently, so I wanted to address it. And it's something that I said wasn't possible in the past, and that is, could Ty still be alive? Now, I've always thought for the last couple of years that it was highly unlikely that he could still be alive. But then after hearing fans rave about this book, I started thinking about the story in it, and I'm starting to wonder if it is a distinct possibility that Ty still could be alive, or they could make a very viable storyline to bring him back into season 18. Now, this isn't a video about whether the actor Graham Wardle would come back or would be asked to come back, but more about is it even a possibility that they could bring a viable storyline in which could make it possible that he could come back into season 18. So I'm going to lay out here the theory in Thailand of how Ty could still be alive and how he could come back in season 18. So in the book, the story is that Ty hasn't died, but it was a plan by Interpol to catch the bear gallbladder smugglers. And that part of their plan was to make it seem like Ty was out of the picture. And that now that the smugglers have been caught, he could go back to the Heartland Ranch. So a couple of questions you might have about this story, like I did, was, what about this scene? Oh, oh, please, stop. It's okay. It's my wife. Sir. Please let me go. Please let me go. Sir, you're bleeding. It's my wife's blood. No, you've been shot. Okay, so the nurse here said that Ty had been shot because she saw blood on his shirt. But what if she was wrong? It often happens that people think, oh, well, this person looks like they've been shot. They have blood on their shirt. But she hadn't examined him yet, so she had no idea if he'd actually been shot. Now, what's even more weird is if he had been shot in the abdomen, not even doctors in Canada would send him back the same day from surgery. And then this really strange thing happened, too. Listen here. All right, you're on speaker. Well, now, listen, everyone. Amy and Ty are going to be fine. you got to make Lou go to her final rally. The last thing Amy and Ty want is to ruin your campaign. So Amy and Ty are in the hospital after getting gunshot wounds, and what they're worried about is whether Lou is going to go give some sort of speech in the town? Doesn't make any sense. Unless Ty wasn't really shot. And that could have been when Interpol came to his room at the hospital and made this elaborate scheme to whisk him away into protective custody. And when that wouldn't be that strange, because how many times has Ty almost died on Heartland? So many times. He fell off a cliff when he was traveling with Amy. He um, almost died in that motorcycle accident here when he went um, to Eagle Lake with Jack. He almost died earlier than that um, when he got into that plane crash with Scott. But let's face it, Ty was a young, healthy man. He wasn't just going to die that easily. On top of that, the whole way that he was supposedly shot just didn't make any sense. Did the bullet go through him, through his abdomen, and back, like from his back to his abdomen, then through Amy's shoulder? Because he would have died instantly if that was the case. Or did it go through Amy's shoulder and then somehow go into him? It was a hunting rifle, too, that shot at them. Not a machine gun or anything. So it's difficult to say if he would have suffered life-threatening injuries from that. Now here you can see that it's more obvious that Amy was shot because she was in obvious pain. Whereas look what happens. Ty picks her up and walks her to the truck where he gets into the truck and drives her to the hospital. Supposedly with an abdominal injury. She's again in obvious pain. Whereas he's just driving around. You know and another thing is. They never had a funeral for Ty. They never actually showed his body that he was dead. They do mention a funeral in season 14 saying that Ty's mom didn't attend, but they don't explain if his body was at the funeral. It could have just been the urn. They didn't show it in the show. He was supposedly quote unquote cremated. So as the story in Thailand is, is that that Interpol has somehow fooled the family into thinking that Ty has died at the hospital and instead gives him these dogs ashes. Here's a little bit about those ashes. Front desk. I'm here to pick up Sparky. Right. Scott told me he would be by. Mm -hmm. I'll go get him for you now. Okay. What, what, what's this? Sparky's ashes. So in this scene, which was from um, season six, I was just rewatching it. It was really funny because. This wasn't actually Sparky's ashes, it was another dog's, and Ty had mistakenly told this lady that it was Sparky's ashes. But in the Thailand book, when Ty does have to go to Arizona to be in protective custody, 
they use uh, Sparky's ashes um, to represent his ashes so that they can have a sort of ceremony or cremation like they do. In season 14, episode 1. So when Ty comes back to the Heartland Ranch in the book Thailand, he explains that the ashes that Amy was throwing here were actually the ashes of the dog Sparky that Ty had taken care of back in season 6. So for all these reasons, who else thinks they could bring Ty back without any issue in a later season? Does it seem realistic to you or not? I mean, I drank the Kool-Aid, but have you? And like Amy says here, this is what I think Graham should do. I'm going to work tomorrow and everything will be back to normal. Let us know what you think in the comments below. And for more Heartland news and Stay updates, stay tuned as we've got some exciting news coming up soon. <laughs> Bye for now.